church sparks outrage for depicting Jesus as trans with beard, uh, with beard and breasts in a dress. Oh, wow, he has a beard and he also has breasts. Oh, this is one of those LGBT-friendly churches. This, the reaction to this has to be glorious. This, this should be funny. This should be funny. I hope it's as funny as I think it's going to be. Actually, you guys see the picture? This is the picture. This is GD with the and G, G, Jesus with a beard and also has boobs. Jesus with boobs. And there's a rainbow here and there's a church with a cross here. Again, I do not agree with this. I think the best way to be pro LGBT is to say screw with Christianity. But the reactions to this, actually, I do agree with this. You know, because I do agree that we just need to get rid of religion. Um, but whenever something like this happens, and the reactions to it will display how common homophobia and transphobia is within religious communities. So yeah, maybe more of this, more of this, so we could we could highlight the reaction, right? Um, so I just see, I just changed my mind live on air with you guys. See how easy it is to change your mind based on just reevaluating things, right? So easy, you don't have to be like, Oh my god, I'm so, oh, I'm gonna look like a weak person if I change my opinion. No, it's okay, you could change your opinion. I might change my opinion again after reading this. We don't know, we don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, let's read what this article says. In an uh, in an ad uh, purportedly ah, to sir, me meant to encourage children to attend Sunday school, the nat the National Church of Iceland featured a bearded Jesus with breasts. Why do you say breasts? Say boobies. Makeup and a dress. Isn't it for children? Uh, and dress dancing under a rainbow. After receiving backlash, the church removed the ad from social media. Guys, they were pressured enough. The pressure was high enough that they decided to remove it. This, okay, see? This is it. This is the transphobia full at display. Even the churches cannot survive this. Even the churches, even the LGBT-friendly churches cannot survive the pressure. Uh, you were saying LGBT activism versus Christianity. I love it when fanatics of two religions fight each other. Popcorn. Okay, I don't agree with that framing of the LGBT activism, by the way, Yuval, but that's why you're here to provide other points of view. Um, but that's also usually why we usually have other co hosts to provide other perspectives. Sorry about today. I'll try to, I'll try to, pre you know, present the other side as well. Okay. After receiving backlash, the church removed the ad from social media, but not buses, and released an apology. An apology, guys. Apo the, the homophobia, the transphobia in the Christian community is still stronger than wokeism and LGBT activism, which are not the same, they are separate. They're separate, but again, as much as we complain about the woke dogma, I don't complain about the LGBT activism like Yuval does in Life Chat. I do, I'm part of the LGBT activist group. I do complain about the woke cult, but none of those. Again, the woke dogma, we come here and we and we try to pay, bring attention to it, and we try to tell you guys that this is a threat, that this is against enlightenment values, it's against LGBT rights, it's against civil rights movement, but as much as we want to raise the alarm about that, I'm telling you guys, Islam and Christianity is still the great are still the greater threats. They're still stronger. They're still stronger than that. And again, here's another example. They had to cave, they have to bend the knee. People keep saying, like, oh, woke dogma, these woke people, they make you bend the knee. No, Christianity and Islam are still, they still have the upper hand. They still make you bend the knee again. Yeah, so you were saying, okay, wokeism. Yes, wokeism. That's, I'm against that as well. 
However, the church also argued that it believes it's okay to depict Jesus as a woman, tr uh, transgender, or anything else. Yeah, it's a fictional character. You can make it whatever you want, right? People are like, oh, Jesus was not, this is not the real Jesus. Guess what? There is no real Jesus. I mean, there's a person that the whole Jesus story was, the story was made based upon. But whatever that character, well, whoever that person was, is definitely not the Jesus you guys are worshiping. So, yeah, I'm going to say there is no real Jesus, okay? Because you, whoever that person was, you guys have what moved so much off. You know, when people do fan fiction, they actually are based on something, okay? But there's re really not much we can say about the real Jesus. So again, and I think it's far enough from the real Jesus, whatever you guys have worship, that I could say that there is no real Jesus. Okay. So again, when I had, yeah, I'm getting to, that would be too much. The animated ad, which depicts Jesus as having breasts and jumping around as, where's the animation? Are we going to see the animation? Ah, there's no link to the animation. The animated ad which depicts Jesus as having breasts and jumping around as he points to the church was posted on the church website and Facebook page on September 11th, according to the Daily Mail. Didn't we have... <laughs> what source is... Oh, this is a Christian post. God damn it. Yes. Wait, does the Daily Mail have the link? Again, guys, do not trust the Daily Mail. I know, I know, but I'm desperate to see the video. Is there a video? I want to see it jumping. I want to see a trans Jesus jumping around. Come on. There's no video? Uh, which reported that was that the post was deleted after it sparked outrage. However, oh, guys, we're going to get to see it. Iceland Monitor reports that the ad continues to appear on some buses. No, I don't want to see the buses one. I want to see the animation. The ad campaign, guys, do you have a link to the animation? The ad campaign cost the church about $14,800, and and $14, which was contributed mostly by Bishop's office. Hmm. You know, you would, you would have gotten so much credit if you just left it, if you didn't remove it. People like, you don't give in to the mob. You know how many... Post I removed after the actually one one because it was, it was justified okay, but over the past fifteen years of activism I only remember one case when I gave in and I didn't even give in to the mob okay when there was many posts that we posted on Atheist Republic people were like you gotta remove this sermon you gotta remove sexy Kelly I did not remove sexy Kelly they said you gotta remove the rainbow Kaaba I did not remove the rainbow Kaaba. He said, you got to remove the Allah has gay post. I did not remove the Allah has gay post. There was one post that I removed, not because there was a giant mob that came after me. In fact, the size of the people that came after that one was tiny, tiny compared to the other examples that people came after me, told me that I have to remove it. The reason why I removed that one was not because of intimidation, but because I saw their point. I was like, you guys have a point. Maybe I should remove this one. And I removed it. Not the, not giving to intimidation, but I gave in to the soundness and the merit of the opposition. Okay? Um, opposing arguments. Let's continue. Again, guys, if you apologize to these to the mob, do you think they will be like, oh, okay, great, we're going to go away now? Then when these people smell blood, they're going to come for your neck. You do not give in if you don't think they're justified. Don't let them intimidate you. Again, hashtag sexy Kelly. Search for, six, search for hashtag sexy Kelly if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, one comment read, there was a reason I left the national church and found another Christian congregation. Another read, shame on the bishop. Let your transphobia show, guys. They think this is this is they cannot accept. Look, this, this, this is what they are fun about. Look at it. This, oh my god, shameful. Look at the degeneracy. Where is God? Oh no, save the children, save the children. Look, this is what they're afraid of. 
Just let, just let your transphobia just show. Just let the whole world see. Let Christianity be associated with this. You, again, this is why us anti theists keep winning, even though we have such low amount of resources and so little support. Even because you we because you guys are doing 90% of the work for us. We just have to highlight you guys. We don't have to do most of the work, okay? By the way, guys, we do need more resources, okay? So put link it link to our Patreon in the description. Imagine all the progress we have made. Imagine if we have more resources. Patreon. Did you like that? Did you that was shameless promotion? Link to our Patreon. Uh, guys, do not support us. Do not support us financially. Do not support us financially if you are struggling financially. Every single time I tell you, you can support us by liking, by subscribing, by sharing. There are many other ways. Oh, there's another way. When I do my other live streams, if, if you really want to help and you can't support us financially, give us timestamps of our live streams of the parts that you want us to cut out in the comment section. That would be so much help. You have no idea how much help that would be. Okay. On the YouTube channel, every time I do a live stream, and I do a live stream almost every day. If you guys are on Facebook, you should go come check us out on YouTube. I do it almost every day. Give us timestamps. I will cut the part because my live streams are usually two hours, three hours. I need to cut out the most important parts or the best parts. Okay. The church known as the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Oh, wait. I need shame on the bishop. Some called it tasteless and particularly stupid. Another user wrote, The church should be ashamed. For humiliating Jesus like this. Humiliating. Okay, great. Let your transphobia show. Let your transphobia show. The church known as the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Iceland and um, and considered the official Christian church in the country apologized, say, apologized saying the 2020 Assembly of the National Church regrets that the picture of Jesus in a Sunday school advertisement has hurt people. God damn it. The goal was to emphasize diversity, neither to hurt people nor to nor shock them. These people should be shocked if they get shocked by this. If your transphobia is causing you to get shocked, then screw you. Be shocked. I don't care. Anyways, actually, you should be in charge. Of, again, you should be shocked if you are deliberately consuming content that you know that it would be shocking, okay? You should still be in charge of the content that you get exposed to, okay? So I'm really scared of looking at these comments. It's no more ridiculous than he's usually depicted. At least we know trans people exist. I, another thing, guys, is this, like, okay, what is more harming to, to a child's mind? A dancing, jumping trans Jesus with colorful art and hearts and a rainbow in the background. That, or, or, stay with me in this. A tortured, bleeding Jesus on a tortured device when somebody stabs you with, like, a, a torture scene. A torture scene being worshipped. Every Sunday, children like is that is that a better thing for children to be exposed to? I mean, compare this. Compare. I mean, honestly, if if none of this was normal, uh, Jesus being tortured would be R-rated, right? For children, they were like, "Yeah, guys, this is not. Ugh, they know this is not safe for children to consume. What is this? We're showing." A torture scene to children. This is a torture device. This is a man being tortured and being bled to death. And we're showing this to children. Which one is better? That or this? This is much better. The, uh, here's the offensive. Guys, look at everything here is okay, okay? All of this is okay. Here's the offensive part. You see this? You see the shadow under the boobs? That is what makes this whole thing Degeneracy, apparently. That's it. This area. Okay. 
Yeah, gay Jesus is obviously better. I mean, look at him. He's so happy. I like this Jesus. All right, let's go. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 